It's very likely that at some point, whether in school or elsewhere, you've come across pi, the mathematical term which is roughly equivalent to 3.142 and most commonly represented by the Greek letter pi. To many people, particularly those who aren't familiar with mathematics, or stopped studying years ago, pi can seem pointless, unnecessary, and confusing. Let's take a deeper look at pi, where it came from, and why it's so often used in mathematical calculations. What does pi actually mean? First of all, let's consider what pi actually means and why it is used in mathematics. The number equivalent to pi, 3.142 to 3 decimal places, is the number that you get when the circumference of any circle is divided by its diameter. This will be the case regardless of the size of the circle you are using. Therefore, pi can be used to help with a range of calculations, including working out the length of a circle's diameter or the length of its circumference. Although pi is equal to 3.142 when rounded to three decimal places, it doesn't stop there. Pi, or the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter, is not a rational number neither is it a recurring decimal like 0.3333, meaning there is an infinite number of digits after the decimal point. Where does pi come from? Like many symbols, equations, and calculations, there is a history behind its use and discovery. A considerable amount of time spent studying pi was used to increase the accuracy of pi and its digits. Historians and mathematicians believe that pi was known 2000 years BC, and the Egyptians and Babylonians were aware of it and its uses. Later on in ancient Greece, Archimedes was able to improve on the accuracy of pi, and by the early 1900s, the first 500 digits had been discovered. Advances in technology and mathematical studies, mean that in the 21st century, more than 6 billion digits of pi are now known. Pi is quite special in the world of science, math, and numbers. March 14th has become known as, Pi Day, where many people around the world eat pi to celebrate this fascinating number. With billions of digits to memorize, it's not surprising that pi has become a challenge to many of those attempting to beat a world record. Rajveer Meena, from India, has held the world record as of 2015, reciting 70,000 digits. Lu Chao, from China, has previously held the record from 2005 to 2015 after reciting 67,890 digits of pi. He had beaten the 1989 world record holder, Hideaki Tomiyori from Japan, who recited 40,000 digits. Ludolf van Sulen, a Dutch-German mathematician, spent most of his life trying to calculate the digits of pi. In 1596, he published a book which contained a total of 20 digits of pi. He later calculated 15 more digits, increasing this to 35 digits. His huge contribution to the discovery and calculation of pi resulted in pi also being known as the Ludolfine number. Van Sulen was buried in Leiden, where Pi with its 35 known digits was engraved on his headstone. William Jones, a Welsh mathematician, was the author of several books, and works, including For Beginners of Mathematics. He used Pi to explain the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter. Leonard Euler, a Swiss mathematician, physicist, and engineer, is often credited as promoting the use of Pi in the world of mathematics. Isaac Newton (1642–1727), an English mathematician, also played an important role in developing pi, especially in terms of advancing the accuracy and number of digits which were known. In 1666, Isaac Newton used an arcsine series, or inverse trigonometry, to calculate the first 15 digits of pi. Although there are approximately 6.4 billion digits of pi now known, there is still more to discover. While it is accepted that enough digits of pi, are now known to ensure calculations are as accurate as possible. Who knows in future, how many digits of pi may be discovered in another hundred years from now.